In the news this week, the Home Secretary formally announces controversial anti-extremist powers. An Irish sports star speaks out in favour of marriage and the family, ahead of Ireland's referendum on the issue. And a judge in the Netherlands rules that a dementia patient should be euthanised against medical advice. Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. The Home Secretary Theresa May has formally announced measures designed to target extremists, despite widespread free speech concerns. The powers, including extremism disruption orders, are set to be part of a new counter-extremism bill, which will appear in the Queen's speech later this month. It is understood that EDOs will restrict individuals or groups who spread, incite, promote or justify hatred on a number of grounds, including religion, sexual orientation and transsexual identity. The Christian Institute, the National Secular Society, civil liberties groups, The Guardian and politicians have all criticised the broad nature of EDOs. Speaking on BBC Breakfast, May said the aim of the powers is to protect British values. Most people will recognise that actually we, we need, do need to ensure that we are promoting the values that bring us together as a society, the values that make us the great country to live in, those British values of democracy, of law, of order, of tolerance. We have a right, everybody has a right in this country to live how they choose to live, but that right bears with it a responsibility of accepting other people's right to live how they choose to live as well. And there are those who are seeking to divide us, who are seeking to preach that that hatred and intolerance and who are actively seeking through extremism to undermine those values that unite us as a society. She was also challenged on BBC Radio 4's Today programme by presenter John Humphreys. If, for instance, you believe in gay marriage, fine, that is a value for you. If you don't believe in gay marriage, you're absolutely entitled not to believe in gay marriage. And presumably you would still be entitled to say, I don't believe in gay marriage. Of I course think, you would I, be. I think it damages society. Uh, yes, but, but that, not, So that would offend not, your values. But what we're talking about is the, the key values that, un, that, undermine, that uh, underline our society and are being undermined by the extremists. An Irish sports star has spoken out in favour of traditional marriage ahead of the upcoming referendum. Ger Brennan, who plays Gaelic football for a Dublin team, said the law should support the view that children need both a mum and a dad. Writing in the Irish Independent, he acknowledged that he could come under fire for his views, but said he was frustrated with accusations that no voters are homophobic. He wrote, I'm voting no because I don't want our constitution to deny that it is a good thing for a child to have a mother and a father. His article came as members of an association of evangelical churches in Ireland also raised concerns. Aontas members from Grace Bible Church in Courtown said in a letter to a local paper that they were alarmed about the erosion of free speech in connection with same-sex marriage. They concluded, As Christians we pray for those who take a different view. We urge our partner churches to show Christ's love to all, and at the same time we urge a no vote in the upcoming referendum. And finally, a judge in the Netherlands has allowed an 80-year-old woman to be euthanised despite objections from her medical staff. According to media reports, the woman was living in a care home for dementia sufferers and doctors thought she was incapable of expressing her will to die. But the woman's family claimed she had a death wish and they obtained a court order when the care home refused to let her be euthanised. A judge rejected an appeal from her medical staff and last month she was killed by the Life End Clinic, which was started by pro-euthanasia activists. Under Dutch law, doctors must fulfil certain criteria, such as ensuring that a patient's euthanasia request is voluntary. If a patient has dementia, doctors can only euthanise them if an advanced directive or living will is in place. Dr Peter Saunders of the campaign group Care Not Killing said this case reveals why legalising assisted suicide is an acceptance of the view that there are lives not worth living. He spoke to us over Skype so the sound quality is not perfect. This case is further evidence that euthanasia is completely out of control in the Netherlands and it demonstrates that any law attempting to restrict euthanasia or assisted suicide to certain categories of people like mentally competent adults, will be impossible to uphold and enforce. Once you accept the principle that there's such a thing as a life not worth living, then incremental extension to broader and broader categories of people is inevitable. Well, that's all for this week. 
For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.